Hey guys, how you guys doing? It is Arn back with another video, and today, yes, we're gonna take a look at the Soul Erda Energy. I don't know what we call this, man. You just fuck it, right? <laughs> I mean, okay. I have been very quiet about this topic because I have been waiting for the official to provide an answer of why are they doing this? Okay? I, I have my I have my explanation of why are they doing this, but I want I wanted to know, right? Well, what are officials that are doing this? Why are they doing this? So there have been a big as for those of you guys who don't know, right? There have been a big drama going on over here, right? In GMS. Right, global maple story last weekend. Right, uh, there was a test server, and uh, streamers will actually get access to the test server to showcase six job. And I found out that uh, Soul Earth fragments over here are actually inter account, they are untradeable, they are inter account only. And Soul Earth energy over here, you can only get up to 400 Soul Earth energy from hunting monsters. That's the cap per day, okay, which KMS doesn't have this cap and KMS sort of fragments are tradable. Okay, I can understand why the fragments are untradable because core gemstones and node stones are untradable in the first place. Okay, I can admit that, right? Let's let's not talk about the fragments, right? Let's not talk about the fragments. Let's talk about the soul other energy. Okay? So soul other energy there's a 400 soul other energy cap per day per character. Okay? Why are they doing this? I don't get it. Why are they doing this? So, there's a good and bad situation that I can actually look at over here. Alright? From my perspective, okay, I'm not talking about anyone's, but from my perspective, okay? If you play the game or hunt or right, grind more than one hour per day, right? More than one hour. I'm talking about more than one hour, right? You are going to lose out on the soul earth energy. That's it. If you're not grinding for more than one hour a day, you're not gonna lose out on anything. You're gonna benefit even more. Okay, that's the TLDR of what's going on over here. If, uh, let's just say, I mean, not not if, they're already gonna implement this already, the cap, right? They're not gonna do shit. <laughs> All right, they, they, I mean, GMS say that, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this, like, ah, man. Nah, nah, you, man. God damn it. Okay. Why did I say this is because this daily quest over here is fucking OP. Okay. Everyone was super happy about this daily quest, right? KMS was super pissed about this daily quest. Reason being is that this is so good that you can do it on every character because so Erda energy for 600 so Erda energy, right? You need to hunt at least 45 minutes. If you're lucky, 30 minutes. Okay. At a 200% drop rate. That's where how difficult it is. Alright, that's what that's the gauge. And you just need to hunt 3,000 mobs and you can get 600 solar other energy. Okay, and the cap over here is another 400 from the monsters that you're hunting. Which means one day you can get a maximum of 1,000 solar other energy provided you do the daily quest and you hunt from the monsters. And the main difference here is that from Maple C, you do not get this drop from the monsters. But in Maple C, I'm not sure about GMS, Maple C, they mentioned a clause over here that this will actually drop at a significant high drop rate compared to KMS. Hence why this doesn't drop. We will see how high it is tomorrow. Okay? So, here's the thing. If you are a casual player like me, plays and uh, only come in and do your dailies less than uh, 15 minutes a day, right? Okay, if you're doing that, this is good. This is super good, right? This is even faster than even what I'm doing in KMS right now, right? I don't even get like 600 solar of energy by just doing my dailies, man, right? You guys are like, benefiting from this. And you get chaff sort of fragments. This is a huge win. But for players that grind more than an hour, uh, yeah, you don't get shit. Uh, you do get a sword of fragments. Yeah, they do. They still drop. This is unlimited, but you don't get the energy. Okay, so yeah, that's that's basically it. It's good for casual players, but if you're a hardcore grinder that grinds one hour or two hours, 
you are still gonna lose out on that. Okay, now here's the thing. I wanted to get the official answer of why are they doing this, right? So the admin notes over here, I guess they added this admin notes when uh, the GMS shit happens. I mean, Maple Seed doesn't add admin notes, man. I gotta tell you that shit. The Soul Era Daily Quest was implemented as a means to provide a fast growth method to obtain six job materials. Although Soul Era Energy is limited daily at 400 true authentic force monsters, the drop rate has been significantly increased. We don't know how significant is that? 2x, 3x? Mm. Additionally, soda fragments can be hunted without any limit. This were intended to enable all maples to acquire soda uh, more eff uh, efficiently, uh, particularly with the introduction of the sexual advancement. Didn't explain much. <laughs> Didn't explain much, but yeah. Now, this is one of the items that KMS does not have. So it a booster. I can see them adding this at a mile away when they added arcane symbols in the cash shop. But I didn't expect them to add this so fucking early. So this is a subscription. Uh, let's just call it subscription, right? So it a booster over here. It lasts for 30 days, right? Uh, let's read this. Activates the soda booster for 30 days once used in the game. Soda energy and soda fragments can be obtained every day using the soda booster. Of course, you need to complete six job, right? All right. So what does it do? Basically, when you open this, let me minimize it slower. You'll be able to go with uh, this one, which is this one. You can claim the daily reward from the booster once per day. You can choose and receive one of the special rewards when claim the daily reward six times. Okay. So this is the daily reward. Every day you will get 200 soda energy and 4 soda fragments. This doesn't count into the cap of this one over here. So meaning, if you are paid to win, you basically get 600 energy from the daily. If you are grinding for uh, this, 400, you're capping this, 400, okay. Then you can get another, oh, we'll talk about that later on. Mm -mm. Then another 200 over here. 1,200 per day. And fragments wise, calculate it yourself, right? So, now if you basically receive uh, six days, right? Then you'll be able to choose, right? Between 500 solar energy, two of them, that means 1,000 solar energy, or 20 solar fragments. Okay, that's the thing. So you get two of this, or you get the fragments itself. That That's. That's basically on the sixth if you comp if you receive it six times, right? So that's the booster over here. So this booster is actually pretty OP for players that actually uh, wanted to do it faster. Hence why they do not want those players that farm a lot. So they added a cap over here so you can buy this shit <laughs> to boost it up. Although there's still a cap, but yeah, hence there is a boost over here. Anyways, so that's the soda booster. It's a subscription. A subscription thing. It's not mandatory anyways. If you're a casual player, just 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 do this. You you will cap your six job skill faster than me even you get the six job later on. Trust me. Alright now now let's talk about this one. There's the there's the brilliant scroll over here, right? We'll come back to the soda I need later on. The brilliant scroll over here. So this brilliant scroll Oh, it is fucking OP, man. It is fucking OP. Why, why, why? Why KMS doesn't get all this shit, man? I, I thought TMS is gonna be the first to release this. But hey, it ain't not, man. It ain't powerful than the Black Scroll itself. This is crazy shit. I don't know who's gonna get this, but uh, what percentage chance they're gonna get this, but... Mm, it's some crazy shit. Yeah, so... Introducing some brand new brilliant scrolls over here that give 15 attack and 13 all stats over here. Oh, magic attack over here. Insane. Insane. God damn it. The pet is like 10 10 over here. Alright. Armor is like accessories also. Wow. Damn. Overseas players getting more freaking ass OP over here. I thought this was TMS. What's. GMS, uh, I don't know if GMS is gonna get this or not, but hey, Maple C, uh, TMS definitely getting this. <laughs> OP server over here. Anyways, coming back to uh, Solar Energy. Yeah, hmm. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. What do you guys think? Right? From, from what I've been explaining over here, right? Talking to you guys, right? What do you guys think about this? Right? Mm. I know a lot of people, a lot of players are, are, are very, very angry about the cap. And also very angry about the, the fragments that is untradeable. But untradeable fragments, I can understand. But the cap... I really could not understand it. Why? Why they want to cap it? They could actually re. They could. They could actually release the booster plus, not having the cap. You know, people players would still buy this, and it, it it will boost players up very fast, right? This this time gating thing over here, even though it's a time gate, uh, yeah. For players that as casual players that I mentioned less than fifteen minutes a day. You would progress faster than me in KMS, but for players that grinds more than two hours a day, you will progress slower than uh, players in KMS that grinds two hours a day. So that's the downside, All right? So are they going through a route where they want to limit you guys from playing the game? I don't think so, man. <laughs> what is the reason of this? I don't get it. I don't get what's the reason of this. More more passionate over here about the, the latest updates, man. But I, I still don't get what is the reason of of, of implementing this, right? <laughs> I really still don't get it. I, I, I'm waiting for GMS to uh, announce a statement over here or anything. Right? Yeah. From from what I see over here, that I what the this is coming out. Yeah. You get what I mean. Anyways. Yeah, that, that's basically it on uh, what's going on on this so Erda drama over here that's going on. Uh, it's this issue that we are facing, right? Uh, the cap that we are facing. But, yeah. Depends. Are you a casual player that plays 15 minutes a day and then head off? Or are you a hardcore player that plays more than 2 hours a day? I I'm talking about grind more than 2 hours a day, okay? One wealth. Right, or two wells, right? If you are doing one or two wells, this is a huge, huge downside. Yeah. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. All right, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. I know this video is long, talking about this, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hope you get some insights on... Uh, the fuck's going on? We, uh, even even my video is on the Yahoo News, <laughs> and the instance map changes and uh, frenzy changes and all that shit on uh, not available on Twitch. Uh, talking about that, let's mm. yeah, not go to that route over here. Anyways, thank you very much for tuning in, everybody. As always, leave a thumbs subscribe. Stay awesome, everybody. Stay safe. Bye bye.